Hello, hello, hello! This is Umbra from Umbra Shadow Gaming signing on. I got a new game. We're gonna try it out. We're gonna play it. The audio is probably gonna be crap because I haven't adjusted the volume yet. But here we go. Just came out today. Humankind. Yes, please. Bought it with my birthday money. And it is very, very, very similar to Civilization. I have very little experience in this. I did a couple of little tutorials, and I played through the first age. So, really, we're going to learn a lot together. So, I hope you guys will enjoy as we do this first look at this amazing game called Humankind. Dun, dun, dun. I was get some more experience recording, getting used to the game, but then... T-Rex said that she's going to go into the other room so I can actually record. So, yeah. Here we go. Let's go to the settings first. Oh, audio. Audio is always too loud. Like 50. Let's go down to 50%. Sounds like it's good. That way we're not going to be completely overwhelmed by the noise of the game. And voice volume. Sure. That looks good. Okay. Video. That's fine. Quality's good. Blah, 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 blah. Gameplay. Auto saves on. Uh, you know, I don't... You know, let's do... Uh, seven's fine. Yes, yeah, it's fine. I don't care. Auto save frequency. I guess we can. Let's do every maybe five turns. I don't know. Uh, battle on my space one's fine. Calendar Gregorian. I'm sure that's our current level. Tutorial level beginner, so we can kind of go all through stuff together. All the tutorials are activated. Edge planning sounds good. Okay. Tutorial level. Okay, UI, anything interesting here? I don't think so. Mouse and keyboard seems fine. Accessibility seems fine. Okay, back to the main menu. We got our settings. We are going to play a new game. And yes, I'm taking my avatar. Me. That's me. I created him. It's actually got a pretty cool system where you can... I mean, I can shoot... Yeah. It's got a pretty cool system for developing characters. I mean, it's not crazy, crazy high tech or anything, but it's some cool stuff you can do with different clothing and color schemes and stuff. So that's cool. All right, competitors. Um, six sounds fine. World size large seems fine. Pace normal. Difficulty. Uh, I'm not that good, guys. So we're gonna do the easiest. <laughs> Difficulty. Oh, we don't need peaceful mode. None selected. Content. Two items. All right. And with that said, we can. Yeah, we're just gonna do it. I don't know how much we're gonna do with this, guys, because I want to know your opinions. If you don't like it, you know, I probably won't do a whole lot of recording on it. But here we go. Everything selected. I pre-ordered it. It's awesome. Content. Two items. Add-ons. Pre-order. And deluxe. Okay, whatever that means. Alright, start. It's a very interesting game, guys. You know, instead of like civilization starts out with your civilization, you got you know you get a little settler dude and you settle in a city. This game you gotta advance to the first stage. And you do this by collecting food and science and different things. And once you advance to the first stage, then you get to build your first city. But it should be fun. We'll go through it. It's just a pretty pretty interesting game. It's Sega's first attempt. At a game like this, it's pre it's early access, like it just just came out. So I'm sure there's gonna be lots of bugs and all sorts of issues, but it's okay. Maybe it'll become like Imperion for me, you know, where you just keep on playing it every time they do updates. I don't know. We'll see. I like it so far. I'm enjoying it more than Civilization, but time will tell. It's different in the aspect that you don't choose one civilization; you choose a different civilization for every age. Our oh, universe contains infinite stories. Most of which are about rocks and ice at sub-zero temperatures in a vacuum. Rather boring. However, on a small damp rock, 
there is a story that bears a second look. It's your story. But the first four billion years or so mostly concern amino acids. Not much of a page to have. But then, over time, the amino acids bond together and things start to get interesting and a bit drier. A certain subspecies of hominid discovers that you can do more with a sharp rock than annoy your little brother. Tools and weapons are invented. The hominids begin to cooperate. Fire becomes a serpent rather than an unpredictable force of nature. They learn to tan the skins of animals for clothing. They learn ways to record and probably exaggerate their adventures. Eventually, these tribes learn to build shelters and immediately hold the first barbecue parties. This is the dawn of humankind. Struggle and cooperation have been rewarded. The Neolithic era draws to a close. The whole world beckons. This tribe has come far, but the rest of their story is your story. You are the one who will build them into a great civilization. How far will you push humankind? Another day, another dawn of humankind. It is time to finish breakfast, give a rousing speech, and leap into the future. Alright guys, let's get this thing started. I'll go through tutorials as a list them so you can have an idea what you can do. So anyways, you start out and you got just one person. Not that great, but that's okay. And you see all these things right here? Actually, those are just deposits. Just move around the map like you would. Civilization. And then you see stuff like this. And food that and gives you food. Children. I see where this is going. Acknowledge. And once you get 20 food, you get a new settler, which is pretty cool. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot. Yeah, let's go here. No, we're almost out of space, so enter. It's kind of slow in the beginning, but I find it still enjoyable. All right. Ooh, more food. All right, turn three is looking good. Last game I actually started by myself. I started right next to iron deposit and horses. So I'm hoping I get similar luck here. But there's so many resource types, so I don't even sure what to do in this game. Ooh. Wild berries. Um, it looks like. Yeah. Okay, well, that's the end of this little place. So I guess we'll start heading up this way. In turn. Go. And with that said, acknowledge. We get a new civilization, our new tribe member. So then what you can do is you can take them, collect them, and you can move them. And they're separated. Now you got two parties that can explore this little bit of the world. This one, and this one. So we'll start going in separate directions to figure out where we want to settle. There's lots of dye deposits here, which, I don't know. I don't know if that's that great, but we'll see what happens. This game does, says one out me, so we got one out of me. Um, you're going out that way, so why don't you come over this way? All right, enter. The goal is to do this. Once you get all these goals, which is the girl stars, knowledge stars, and hunter stars, which means you get, I believe, one of each, then you can advance to the next area, which actually lets you found the civilization. Okay, enter. Just because a culture died out doesn't mean it wasn't worthy of study. Alright, and that gave us some knowledge points, so I think all we need to do now is hunt an animal. This does kind of more break it down for you, what you need. Go all the way. Interesting, we can't go texture yet, but once we can, I'll show you. Oh, hello dudes. Actually, you guys... Probably. Well, is there much more up there? I have no clue. Let's send you up here a little closer to that. I actually have the city by this one last time. Lost souls. Your scouts come to you breathless from exertion between 
gas. He tells you that he spelled another trap too far ahead. He leads you on and after giving a stop signal, you drop to your onto your village and crawl forward to the bush. But if you a young woman, no more than 13 s summers, is leading a ceremony. Her audience is a dozen of are so equally young or younger tribesmen. Many are crying, and when you see the bodies laid out, you understand why they are mourning. You know what you must do. Okay, so it'll get you different options. Different things happen. So, we can withdraw, which increases our speed, or we can welcome them. New armor going to drive next hunting party. Sure. Let's welcome them. Which is interesting. There we go. So we got you coming, you coming, you coming. Let's get those guys. Grow these guys too. Wild berries. Acknowledge. Do we have any more alarmies? I don't know if there's a way to cycle through, honestly. I mean, I'm sure there is. Hunting party. You just click on this button to cycle through. Okay, that's new to me. And you guys just you just keep on exploring. And enter. Um, sure. You guys go over this way. I not see any resources, guys. It's not looking very promising like my last game. <clears throat> Wonderful. Okay. That's nice. Here we go. Acknowledge. More foods. Now we have two tribesmen again. And we can then again separate them. See what they can do. It's a very big world. Hunting party. What are you guys doing? I need to find some place to build a city, but I'm not seeing much yet. This is bigger than the island I saw on last time, though. All right. Okay, I think that's it. Enter and we'll tell you if you have any iron armies, which is nice. Okay, acknowledge. More food. What are you guys doing? More berries, okay. Very slow movement. Oh, I guess we still have a little bit of movement left. It does tell you how much movement points you have. Alright. Era struck unlearned. The growth star has been earned. Now, does that mean? I believe yes. Now I can find my form my empire. But I don't have a place to build yet. There's nothing else that I really, really want yet. Ores, 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 ores. But we can still find the era, or find a, a city. Maybe we can build somewhere. I don't know. Let's see what else we can discover before the turn ends. You're exhausted. That's nice. Let's see, is there any valuable resources here? Doesn't seem to be a whole lot, does there? Okay, exhausted. Ready. You guys, actually. Come here. Ancient encampment. Acknowledge. Science is always good. There's a deer. There's really not a whole lot around here, is there? I mean, there's lots of this dye stuff, which might be useful at a later date. Honestly, I think we should probably just build maybe in the forest somewhere next to the mountains. Marshland. Vision range. I don't know. I'm not really happy with any of these locations. All I found is this dye stuff, but that's okay. I mean, there's just nothing here, guys. We can hunt, which is nice, but you guys are ready. Is there anything farther up here? I really don't want to just settle a city with nothing really at an advantage. Okay, how about you? Hunting party. Okay. I guess, I guess we can choose now. Choose now. What civilization do you want? There's lots of civilizations to choose from. What you do is you click on more details. And it tells you what they're good at. You know, what they get. Their unique troop. Because every age you get a, new troop, a unique troop. Babylon. Egyptians. 
Hittites, Nubians. That's what it was last time when I was doing my own little let's play. Phoenicians. Plus two stability. Stability is like happiness and civilization. Mm, might be interesting. We got more food, which might be good. No. Uh, engineers. There's so many guys. These, you gotta really choose what you want. I think I'm gonna choose ba Babylon this time. So we'll adopt Babylon. We are now the Babylonians. It tells you all the stuff you get. Plus two science in your capital. Tells you all the unique stuff, the neat, neat troops. So we confirm. And we gotta find a place to build a city, I guess. Turns pending. Ah, the challenges of a young civilization. It's hard keeping up with the neighbors when they have the wheel and you don't. Humankind learns quickly that everyone contributes. If you're terrified of wild animals, you can grow lentils or catch fish. Tribes settle towns. Towns develop markets, and markets begin the exchange of goods, services, and most important, rumors and hearsay. This means more than just markets for the Babylonians. It's also the beginning of mathematics, astronomy, and a set of codified laws that I wouldn't want to be caught breaking. All right, we have acknowledged our civilization. This could be a possible location here. There's nothing that useful nearby, but it is up in the mountains. Hmm. But I want, I want like stuff. So, and then we go to progress. What do we wish to get? You know, I'm thinking a calendar, granary, quick growing. Oh, let's get. Oh, I get one for free. Okay, well that's fun. So let's take city defenses, even though we had no city yet. Yeah, the technology is cool, guys. I mean, it goes, I understand. It just, it goes, and it goes, and it goes. I don't know if the tech tree and civilization is bigger, but this one's pretty cool. And what I like is that it goes beyond our current level. I mean, kind of. Like, you get into this really late stuff. Worldwide webs. Neutral neural implants, fusion reactors, military lasers, and exosuits. So I think that's pretty cool. That's that's the end of the game as of right now, but I think it's pretty awesome. All right, that's way 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 in the future though. All right, go to technology. Understood. I understand. You can read that if you want to. All right. Do we have anything? Three I three armies idle. What do you guys want to do? Sanctuary is kind of good. You can, um, you can pillage it, which is fun. I don't, I don't know if I need resources yet. I don't know if I want to establish a sanctuary yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to be too worried about it. So you guys have a little more space to go. Oh, so you got to go all the way around to explore that. There's got to be something here. I think we're just going to honestly just settle. You know, somewhere. All right. Just give me something, you know? Rare, rare resources would be good. I don't even know, guys. Like, I really want to build a city. Have something somewhere. So, maybe we can build a city right there. You build an outpost and you convert it to a city, essentially. I mean, yeah, that should be fine. Let's just go build there for now. It gives me access to those resources, which I'm sure I can trade later on. I would already had a city by this in my last game, though. In turn. Come on. I'm going to build an outpost. Falling behind everyone. I may not be able to build on here. But I'm going to try. Got some high ground, which is good. Honey party one. Come on, guys. It's a lot more space than I had before. But not as many resources. Kind of sucks. Well, it seems like you need a city to get science. So we got to hurry up and get ourselves a city. But I think that's it. You're exhausted. Oh, you're not. 
You are entered. Can we build a city here? And now you've met the Mycenaeans. Let's hope relations go well. Their forts are rather formidable. Oh. Okay. Apparently we've met new people. Let's claim territory. Oh, so I gotta choose. Okay. Well. Might be good right here. Uh, yeah, let's go there. Create an outpost. Seven turns? Really? Seven turns? Oh man. Well, that sucks. Okay, let's see. All military units. Ready. Search. Yeah, let's go exploring. There's got to be more stuff around here, right? Alright. New party. Hunting party. It's supposed to be the Mycenaeans over here. Bloody and smelly, aren't they? History may be changed by battles, but that doesn't mean they're enjoyable. Okay. You may ask for reparations. Okay. Well, we're not interested in like that right now. All right then. Next army. You're exhausted. And hunting some parties exhausted. Yeah, I guess you guys do whatever you're gonna do. Enter. For both of our aspirations. Interesting. We will reflect upon it. Welcome to Humankind's Diplomacy Screen. This is where you manage all diplomatic relations with foreign empires. It's one of the skinless systems. Okay, I understand. Answer treaty. You just received a treaty proposal from another empire. You can accept or refuse the treaty or counter proposal. Note that refusing an offer will increase the other's empire war support. Countery means that you are willing to accept the proposal if they add fixed amounts, money, half over. Okay. Okay, I understand. So, what are you asking for me? First, do. Headline. Demand. Yeah, you guys can read all this if you want. I'm not going to read it all out. Forbid new trade. Only trade luxuries. Relations, see, relations understood. You are at peace with the Mayans. Treaty. The Mayans have just proposed to improve your relationship. Uh, sure. Yes, I cannot dispute the benefit in that. We are friends now. All right. Let's get out of this. Understood. All right, let's go back down. Oh, you are under attack. Really? No reinforcements available. Understood. Understood. I don't think we're ready. That was about to again. Understood. So we're at war. Why are these guys attacking us? Honestly, I'm not going to fight with one dude. So retreat. You're proposing... Up. Okay. I don't know what that's all about. I don't know why war support would drop. Maybe because I ran away? I don't know. Anyways, is there anyone else who can move? Exhausted, exhausted, and turn. You can just honestly click on enter and it'll take it any idle people you have. But. Alright, let's see what's over here. Oh wow, we got lots of stuff. You got two. Let's try to get the, that little creature. And then, when I alarm me, what are you guys doing? Did you finish what you're working on? No, you did not. So why? I don't know. Aren't you freaking supposed to be helping build stuff? Maybe... I don't know. Alright. 
Well, not much I can really do exploring over here. I've explored most of this. Maybe come over here. See what's over here. That sounds like a good idea. That's being worked on. We can make it a city pretty soon here. Anyone else? A battle is currently underway. Well, I can't retreat this time, so manual battle, I guess. End deployment. In order, one of your units. Oh, jeez. They get the high ground. It's not good. Who are these guys? Understood. Understood. Round one, defend your flag. Understood. Come over here. And round. Dang. Attack unit, scouts move. They got the high ground. That's not very good odds. Follow me. We don't really want to. I think those scouts are dead. Jeez, man. I guess I need an army now. This did not happen to me last time. Of course it didn't. Okay, well, pretty evenly matched. Loss is 15%. Unit loss, unit loss. Battle, defender. Who are these guys? I don't even know who these guys are. Okay, knowledge. Does that mean I won? Or we just kill each other? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, that was. I think. I think we kill each other. Are they barely won? Just barely. Are we done with our city yet? What do I do? Take the difficulty to super high? Man. <laughs> this is going to be a fun game. At least it's not easy. End turn. Oh, we did win. Alright. Can we heal ourselves or anything? I never really looked into that. So why don't we send you back down here? To here. Take them on. Understood. Manual battle. Understood. Here we go. Where did the little thingy go? Yeah, let's just start battle. And deployment. Kill it! Okay. Alright. Yeah! Yay! We killed the first deer! Took a little bit of damage. 3% losses, but we gained 5 gold. Alright, no units lost. Awesome. We won the battle. Go us against a freaking animal. Okay. Enter. Acknowledge. World. Deed unlocked. Knowledge. I want these world wonders. That's not cool. Alright, so what's going on in our outpost? Are you done being built? Oh, wow. This has taken a really long time. I, can't, I don't even know. What's even going on here? Here, dude. I don't know why it's taking so long. Last time I built it in one turn. I had more people, but I need to hurry up. This is just going really badly. Really, really badly. Huh. Mm. There's some copper. 
that's them. Turn 14 and nothing built. We're getting there, guys. Oh my gosh. End turn. Might have to warn our hands pretty soon here. This is so bad, guys. Yay, acknowledge. Are we finally done with this? One more turn. Why don't we... Alright. Jeez. Turns pending. A first outpost, adding another territory to your empire. I know you're hoping this is the beginning of something very, very big. All right. That being said, evolve outpost into a city, so we can finally understood. Okay, you yeah, just met another empire. They will come friend or foe. Alright. Great, more people. Here, yeah, there's so much micromanaging you can do. You can have a balance policy, or you can focus on city growth, or economic, or whatever you want to do. But, anyways, for now, let's just do balance. And the infrastructure, poetry, that's good. Districts. I thought we got we got a unit. Let's take more population. We need more. Public ceremony. Hundred turns to complete that? My gosh. Um we could build a farm. I thought we could a uh, wonder or something we could build, but Oh, so this breaks it down to all the different touch you can do. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Astronomy house. Science per adjacent farmer quarters plus three. I don't have any adjacent yet. Why is this so slow here? I think we need some production. Plus one industry. Okay. And then you hover over here and it tells you what it does. Cannot be done. Gives you the options. Here, plus three production, minus ten stability. Mm, plus your protection minus two food. I think here's the best bet, honestly. Let's build that district. Alright, now that that's done, maybe we will build... We'll just see, we'll just see. Alright, so we finally have a city, which means now we're actually getting science, which means that's good. So we actually can start advancing in this game on turn 17. I don't know how many turns it is, but um, yeah, we are not doing great at all. Yeah, not great, not great at all. But hopefully, some of this question marks as valuable resources. You can zoom out; it shows you the current range of your empire. I chose color gray because umber tends to be gray or black. That's Babylon. That's my current known nemesis. I think this expands as you get more and more influence. So that's fun. All right, enough of that. Zoom back in. And turn. Curiosity. We found a curiosity. Okay. That sounds good. Let's get out of the Babylon city. I can build one more city. There's It's currently capped. But right now, I get 20 influence plus 5 per turn. I'm making... I have 5 gold and get plus 3 per turn. Apparently, there is copper and horses close to me. Is this? I don't know. Alright. That's fine. We're scientists. Um, yeah. Enter. Yeah, I don't think one of you is enough to take on a mammoth, unfortunately. Off we go. You just keep on exploring. So much to explore. You can kind of tell where you've been. It's fog of war. So let's just keep on going up. Sounds like a good idea. More resources, maybe. Alright. And we have one idle army. Oh, we got the curiosity. Okay. You guys are currently just trying to... Okay, sure. Go around. That's fine. <laughs> Alright. Alright. In turn. This is new. It wasn't there before. Currently our empire stretches to here.
And there, up there. So we should probably probably try to get this gold and this marble. Yeah, let's uh, let's find some more territory right here, so we can get that other stuff. Oh, cool. Ooh, we found something cool. Good for us. I'm not sure who's finding this stuff, but okay. How you doing, Babylon? You are working on the marker score. Okay. A few more turns. Actually, quite a few more turns. I don't know why. I'm so unproductive here. It's crazy. Anyways, we're going to try to claim another territory. And turn. And turn. Yay! Acknowledge. We're getting lots of science, which is good. Now we can get warriors, palisades for defenses, and garrisons. Alright, cool. Usually. Like in Civilization, it automatically gives you the option to choose, but this game it doesn't. You have to actually choose what you want to go down next. Um, honestly, I think I am going to go down... Well, what do we got? Calendar, Fartesian Quarters, Granary. Let's go down Domestication for the one the horses. Alright. And then let's go... Let's look at this. Babylon slowly creating what it's creating. Now we have the option to build more stuff. Fortifications, not too worried about that. Honestly, garrison. Okay. Astronomy house. We just There's no room for farmers, I don't think. Well, we need some food, so let's see. Is there any place that gives me a bunch more food? Plus five. Plus three. Plus five. Plus five. Let's do a plus six. Mm -hmm. Understood. Alright, so we're going to work on district, then another district. Get our food and production going. Get more science, more all sorts of stuff. It's a pretty big world. Okay, you discovered a natural wonder, unique geography. Cool, cool, cool. Domestication also research. Understood. A great blue hole, but someone else already discovered that. Domestication unlocked, animal barns, and scat riders. Okay. Cool. Horses. Now we can build stuff on horses. I don't like it doesn't automatically select something new for you, but Carpentry is lumberyard and archers. Granary. I don't really want to go down. Oh, we got the wheel too, if we really want it. Chariots. Let's go down. Alright, bronze working. That sounds like a good idea to me. In turn. Yeah, let's claim all this. This sounds like a good idea. Claim territory. And then we can actually turn that into a city also. I believe. And I actually might be able to attach this to that, so. That's fun. Looks like our sphere is slowly expanding. Alright, here we go. One auto army. Where's the auto army? Didn't I just have you claim this territory? Found out post 60 influence. It should be fine. Alright, here we go. And we'll eventually attach these two. But that's okay. In turn, that's what I want you to do. Alright, and this little city is going to take... Oh, that's actually way quicker than the other one. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I'm going to have a crappy capital city. Ooh, gold's always good. Yeah, we can get this guy. Manual button. See, there's not really a lot of strategy involved in this. Let's should do minor tracements. Okay, deployment. Oh. 
Now you can see that guy. Tease me to be to pay closer attention, huh? Yeah. We got another one. We got five gold. Alright. Victory and honor and glory is ours. Okay. That was fun. Why don't you guys regroup? How's Babylon doing? Okay. Understood? Oh, because uh, I, I don't have horses yet. Okay. That's fine. It's perfectly acceptable. Here we go. All right. Ooh, one more. Don't do one. You can actually buy this out if you want to. For 17 gold, we have 59 gold. We'll be done next turn anyway, so who really cares? Enter. What are you guys doing? Can you regroup? No. Sure. Come on down here. See what we can find. You have constructed the first emblematic quarter. It's a symbol of power and a lasting memory of this era. Go ahead. Be smug. All right. Well, we go back to our cities. Look up here. All cities. Let's search for Babylon. Ooh, we can get one more, which is nice. All right. And next is the farmer's quarters. After the farmer's quarters... We don't need scouts, warriors, public ceremony. Why don't we build? Yeah, let's build this after that. 11 turns. All right, and for our outpost, yeah, here are you doing over here? And we got one more turn. All right. There you go, serious. Costs 160. So right now this is just okay. That's fine. Well, I have zero population, but that does increase my empire by a little bit. Dang. You've got the copper and the gold. Well, hopefully I can get this. Well, that sucks. Oh man, they are just expanding quickly. Man. Well, that sucks. I need these rare resources. Oh, where are the complete movements? Three outlines. And dangerous, the Hittites. Get ready to hear the sound of chariots when you least expect it. Ooh. Looks like I met someone new. Knowledge. Knowledge. Okay. Old Horde. Nice. We'll take all that gold. Thank you. Okay. What do we got? Diplomacy? A proposal. Consideration. Only trade luxury goods. I don't see the point in doing this right now, so sure. As just as you are wise. Let's make it so. <laughs> That's getting no place. Alright. Well, that was interesting. Share maps. I'm not really interested in being allies with anyone quite yet. Oh, the other armies. Oh, man. Well, we're going to the territory, so that's fine. And then another royal army. Honestly, why don't you guys just combine again? I don't see the harm in that. One idle army. Sure. No. The one thing I don't like about this game, though, we have enough influence yet. How is our How is our outpost doing? Honestly. Good outpost. Search. How are you doing? 
evolve into a city. Hittite bar expands. Man. Well, I still have the copper, which is good. And the marble. My empire is slowly expanding also. Man, I need to build another one somewhere in here. There's just not a whole lot of good guys here. But anyways, with that said, I hope you guys have enjoyed me bumbling through this game. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you like it. Let me know if you don't like it. Uh, let me know if you, make, if you want me to make more of it. Because I'm going to probably do a couple more episodes, of course. But I really want you guys to see back. And if it's something you guys are interested in seeing me do more of, leave comments down below. Thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. Hit that subscribe 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 button click on the bell to be notified when we release new content we release new content every tuesday thursday saturday and last day of the month tuesday is a vlog over on the sellers thursday and saturday are video game videos on umber shadow gaming and the last day of the month which typically tends to be actually partly in the new month is an international taste test check them out last month was south korea this month is greece and the following month well, we got a box from somewhere else in Asia, so that's pretty cool. All right, guys, check all the links in the descriptions. There's all sorts of stuff down there. Check out my other discords. Let me know what you think. Uh, give me likes. Give me subscribes. Getting close to 30 on this one. I would love to hit 50 really soon here, so let's get me to 50 subscribers. That would be freaking awesome. And until next time, how will history progress? Bye, guys.